So this is a massively simplified representation of a flat file database versus a relational database. So let's assume that I have a really simple flat file database that is going to take the details um, of customers' orders of particular computer games. So here is my table that stores the following attributes, first name, surname, address, postcode and item. Uh, Malcolm Redford calls up and he places a pre-order for the PlayStation 4. You can see how all these resources now. Um, we then have Andy Green call up. Oh, there you go, it's FIFA 14. So a good seven years old. And he makes an order for FIFA 14. Mo Ahmed calls up. He makes his order. Then we get a Malcolm Redford call again. And he's decided that he would like a FIFA 14 game for his PS4. Now, what you'll notice happens in the flat file is Malcolm Redford, when he calls up and makes another order, because this is a flat file system, I have to take down all of his details again and store his details as a separate record in my database, even though it's just the item that has changed. Now, if we compare that to a relational database, we have Malcolm Redford who makes his order, Andy Green and Mo Ahmed make their orders, and then when Malcolm Redford calls up this time, we can keep all of his details here in his customer table, but we can have another table here that deals with the items that he has ordered. But that means Malcolm Redford can make as many orders as he likes without us having to store all of his customer details all over again. We can just store details of the items that he's ordered. Now in Microsoft Access, relational databases look like this. So um, it's not an exact replica of what I've created, uh, but you can see here it's a data file of parents. Um, and if you click on the little plus symbol, it will load up the students um, or the children that that parent um, of the school has. So of course, Mr. Robson or Mr. and Mrs. Robson, if you've got a couple of parents, could have more than one child at the school and we would not have to repeat all of their data. Um, and the last slide here just shows that as um, a one-to-many relationship. So we have our data file of parents and here's all their, their fields and attributes, uh, fields or attributes, and then we have the data file for students. Um, and you can see here that the parent code is our foreign key that links to the primary key in the parents table. 